Hello, Misfits. Hi, guys. Um, I don't know if you can hear background noise. My kids are watching TV. It's the <laughs> only way I can get them to just be quiet and leave us alone for a quick minute so we could do a video. So today we thought we'd share with you just some funny facts about Filipinos or some ways that you'll know that you'll that you're Filipino. <laughs> you're Filipino because <laughs> not that you wouldn't know, but like you know, because <laughs> obviously we are Filipino. Yes, Filipino. Okay, and one thing that that is Philippines is spelled P H, but then when you turn it into Filipino or Filipina, mm -hmm. it's spelled with an F. Yes, tricky, tricky, tricky. Sometimes people are like, "Are you full Filipino?" and Yes, because both of our parents <laughs> are Filipino from the Philippines. Yes. But is there ever a full in anything, I feel like? I feel like, you know, there's, there's all always sorts of a things. mix of stuff. Yeah. Like, particularly, I mean, I know Filipinos can be mixed with, like, you know, Spanish, Spanish, um, other Asian. Indonesian, yeah. Mongolian, like all kinds of other Asian things. Um, some African American. And mm -hmm. particularly ours, um, we have some his or Spanish, I should say, Spanish and African American in our bloodline. Yes. And our dad likes to argue because he's like, "No, ah, you don't have African American." <laughs> and my mom's great. My mom's grandpa. grandpa. My mom's grandpa. So our. So our great, great grandpa. grandpa. <laughs> So, was African American, so <laughs> no big deal. So, one actual, maybe kind of like nerdy fact is, I used to be confused with like, okay, when you fill out official paperwork that has like, check whatever race you are, or you ethnicity. know, whatever, ethnicity, um, it will say Pacific Islander, Asian, and I was always told to check Pacific Islander. And then as of recent, I was told, no, that was, that's wrong. You need to be checking Asian. But I'm like, well, they're both on the papers still. So anyways, I normally still check Pacific Islander if it's there. If it's not, then I'll just check Asian. But technically, it's not wrong to do either one. Because Philippines is part of the Asian continent. Yes, so that's why it's classified as Asian, but it's also, there's a lot of other things that make uh, being Pacific Islander in that category correct as well. And they're actually going to change it, the actual official Census Bureau is going to change it in 2020, if the Lord doesn't come back already. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> um, it's going to be officially changed to Pacific Islander, not Asian, because um, one is that she just said the Philippine um, Islands is a nation apart from the Asian continent. So it's not actually, you in know, there. connected or in Asia. Um, it sits in the middle of the Pacific Ocean, just like other islands there, like Fiji, things like that, um, Guam. Also because the weather is tropical like an island, not mm -hmm. necessarily like the regular Asian countries. And then also we use the Latin alphabet, like A, B, C, D, yada, yada, yada. We don't use logo graphics like other Asian um, languages. languages. And the most important, which is funny, <laughs> is that unlike Asians, um, they use chopsticks and Filipinos don't. We use either silverware or our hands, which I guess can segue into our next interesting <laughs> fact. Uh, Filipinos tend to eat a lot with their hands, um, especially, you know, rice. <laughs> People are like, what's that mean? Ew. So, you know, you might know this. Scooping. If you're Filipino. <laughs> You this should know the scooping action. And the pushing action. <laughs> this is so look I know, not like... appropriate. <laughs> but let's say you have a plate of rice. What you do is you just bunch up your food nice into a bundle and then you use your thumb to push it into your mouth. In there. <laughs> 
I mean, like, you don't eat everything with your hands, yeah. or at least we don't. Like, you're not going to eat soup with your hands, whatever, but, you know. Yeah, come fish on. Fish with rice, or rice, and, like, whatever. And rice is a staple as well. So. Yes, yes. You know what is also funny is that we eat so much rice, and I feel like don't right, other Asians eat a lot of rice, too? But do you yes. notice when you go to a Chinese restaurant or, like, you know, a, any re Asian restaurant, they give you your, you know, platter or your entree of, mm -hmm. like, vegetables or meat or whatever you order, noodles, and then they give you this little thing of rice <laughs> yeah. as if they don't know that that is the main part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, like, oh, that's not going to do. We're going to need a, gonna need a few more rice. Of those. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> a few more of those. <laughs> um, going along with the whole rice thing is you also know that you're Filipino if you just randomly find rice. In your, on your clothes, possibly in your hair, because you just eat so much of it and it just, you know, stays. Yeah. <laughs> like you eat and then you go out and you're like, hmm, I got rice on my clothes. Neat. <laughs> I have had that happen to me before. Like I've gone to school and been like, oh, really, really? First fried rice on my shirt. Ugh. So <laughs> we point with our lips. You know, like, if you're Filipino, you probably remember your parents being like, uh, can you get me that remote over there? And you're like, where? <laughs> over there. <laughs> over there. I don't know. You can't just use your finger. You gotta use your lips. <laughs> yeah, <You know>? exactly. <laughs> Exercise those lips, I guess. <laughs> yes. Funny thing, okay? And let me just start with this, because you'll probably already know it if I do this. Shh. <laughs> you know you're Filipino if you respond to that sound. Shh. Yes, yes. You could be walking in the grocery store or whatever and you're shh. And if you're Filipino, you mm -hmm. turn. Because that is the way that your parents would call you. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Everyone's gonna turn around and be like, huh, oh, where's my mom and dad? So, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> also, I mean, this doesn't necessarily go with it, but. If you have a Filipino friend, or if you are Filipino, you are probably aware of the fact that we are scared easily. We get scared easily. Mm -hmm. So, you could totally be aware that there's other people in the house with you, or even in the same room with you, but if for some reason you're turned around, let's say you're like putting something in the sink, or you know, washing a dish, and then your friend or your family member just comes up and starts talking, you're like, I don't know why. Yeah. Does that happen to anyone else? I don't know. And then you get really mad. And then you usually hit, hit them. Hit the person. <laughs> That's another thing too we say a lot is I, I, yes, I, I. <laughs> also, I'm not. <laughs> yes, I don't know if you've ever. Which doesn't actually mean like anything bad. The word a neck is really for your just child. child. <laughs> the actual translation of a neck is child, son, whatever. So, but yeah. So when you say it by itself, it's, it's not bad. <laughs> but yes, so it'll be a combination of a <laughs> neck. Filipinos often just like to be comfortable, put one leg up, and I won't do it because I'm in a dress, but maybe she can. <laughs> so like if you're just sitting, even eating, maybe we don't do it necessarily in restaurants because it's like, uh, yeah, might not okay. be appropriate. When, it's not like we're uncivilized, you right, know, right, we know right, where right. and when to And not like it. just if you're in a skirt or in a dress, but like <laughs> if you're able to. Yes. Um, sometimes when I'm driving, because unless you actually drive a stick shift where you have to use both feet, you know, yeah. I have one leg up because I'm not using my left leg, so it's I comfy. To, yeah. Unfortunately, I used to drive like that frequently. It's just so comfy, you know? You're just like, leg up. <laughs> kidding. I mean, no. come on. Some people be laying down. Driving, <laughs> so. Yeah. So <laughs> it's not the worst of it. Like, laying down. I've heard some people drive barefoot and take to rest. Come 
on people. I can't do that. We are not the Flintstones. Yeah. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like we'll eat. Like it's just comfy eating like this. Try it one time. Tell us See what you think. What you <laughs> think? Yes. Try it. If you try it, comment to us. If you liked it, if you Maybe didn't. it's not comfortable. I like uh. it. <laughs> you know, you just got your bowl of food. <laughs> like an armrest you know what I'm shovel shovel yeah 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 maybe we're just lazy we need to hold up our arm with a leg who knows <laughs> just kidding could be, could be. oh Ooh. speaking of another yes, thing yes, yes. Okay. okay so the common stigma uh, on filipinos is that filipinos are always late and people it. like to say filipino time okay which yes it has been known for late, to be late. late. However, both of us and most actually in our family don't like being late. But we really hate being late, partly because we hate that stigma and we like want to break out of that stereotype. Yes. And just because we like being on time for things anyway. So, yeah, we like being responsible and being on time. And I feel like it's like a double whammy stigma because... Not only is it like, oh, Filipino time, you're an hour or two late. It's like, no, because not because we're Filipino. Um, or because we're girls. Like, oh, girls take so long to get all ready. I will have you know that... We wake up in time or start get, exactly. getting ready in time so that although we do take a long time to get ready, we plan for the time so that we're not late. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Listen here. For any of you who have seen me arrive at church late, it is because I have the rest of my family with me, i.e. husband and children. Because if I'm by myself, even if I'm by myself sometimes with children, I am on time. <laughs> but for other people that are with me, i.e. one person that I won't name, <laughs> Love him so much. <laughs> He's the real reason. I am late. <laughs> Children are crying in the background. Hold on. Yeah, we're back. Coffee break. I've really been liking experimenting mixing colors of liquid lipsticks. This has nothing to do with our video, but just an extra bonus. What I'm wearing right now is a mixture of Love LUV from Kat Von D and the Kitten Heels from NYX Liquid Suede. And actually, I feel like because it was too matte liquid lipsticks, it like solidified the matteness. <laughs> music anyway and singing and dancing and so karaoke is just like you will find in every Filipino home the magic scene or a magic mic not the movie yeah but MIC magic mic <laughs> which are karaoke systems Any get -together. <laughs> you know there's karaoke they're like I mean, it's time for karaoke speaking of also <laughs> get-togethers um there's usually always too much food it's nothing really to complain about because it's always good food, but you're just like, oh my gosh, like, yes, there's a lot of people here, but wow, we are feeding <laughs> the village. And right. um, if you're not eating, there's usually some elderly person, maybe a grandma, <laughs> who's like, you're not eating? <laughs> you need to eat. You need to eat. Even if they saw you eat. Even if you ate already and you really did and you're not they lying. They want you to eat some more. Mm -hmm. They have to yeah, see you You don't just have one plate. You have to keep going. Yeah. Because they'll be like, what's the matter? You don't like, you know, egg rolls, lumpia, <laughs> huh? You don't like the pancit? 
You don't like what I made you? I made this. Yeah, so you gotta <laughs> eat. It is like if you go to a Filipino party, don't eat before. Bless their heart. Food, family, very important to Filipinos. <laughs> and I think also because like normally people are poor in the Philippines and they don't have a lot of food. So like here in America, they're just like, we have food, you should be eating. Yeah. Oh yes, that's another That's another thing too. Like if, if you're heavier or maybe, you know, got some more meat on ya, if it's like a really older Filipino person who like doesn't really know quite how to say that right. you look blessed or you look healthy, you know, like our grandpa used to be like, oh, you're fat. And he would laugh you about it. You became fat. You became <laughs> fat. Because they, that to them is a sign of being wealthy and being like healthy and taken care of because you have money to, to eat. eat. Yeah. Whenever there are babies, your relatives will just go crazy on the babies with just like sniffing them and just, you know, like. Yeah, Obviously, that's, like, that's they're so fun. cute that mm. you're not, like, you want to, like, bite them because they're so cute or whatever. Obviously, you can't, you're not going to hurt them, but you just are, like, <laughs> so overwhelmed with how cute they are. They just, you know. Yeah. Mm. They're always, like, I want to bite them. And if my child was awake, I finally got her to nap, then I would probably give an example. But that's what they do. If you've ever seen Filipinos love on a baby, it's like, this is, like, they just Sniff. like to... Sniff, sniff their face and every like you the sound is the, is the sound of the skin <laughs> being sucked sucked suction. into the nose and then released you hear uh, that can you hear that <laughs> so we hope that you enjoyed and learned learned and had some laughs with these interesting <laughs> facts whether you're also a fellow filipino or you're not yeah um maybe you learned something new and if you ever um, try some of the th these things, leave us a comment, or if yes. you just want to be like, hey, yeah, totally, I, we totally do this in our family, or I'm Filipino, comment to us, we love to hear from you. Yeah, or if there's anything we missed, we were oh, like trying to wrap so our much. brain. It's, there's yeah. so much. So like, leave a comment on like anything we missed, if you have friends that do this, or whatever, or anything else you'd like to see, so... Yeah. Um, I think that's it. We are going to leave everything in the description box below, like where to follow us on all our social media platforms. And uh, that is all. So we'll see you in our next video. Bye. Bye.